the uh, Hazard County squad car and uh, done and done I went ahead and uh, sprayed some uh, future on it just to give it a nice uh, shine and a uh, clear coat on I went ahead and put the spoiler on it's not tied down at all or excuse me bolted down it's just uh, finger tightened on there but anyway it gives you the uh, whole appearance on there kind of a it's basically a what if which uh, I think it looks uh, pretty darn slick there's a few areas that uh, it's just not the best finish it's just because I mean you'd really have to take it and really sand it down and everything else if you really wanted to get it a you know a static model but this is going to be an RC car so it's going to it's going to take some abuse and uh, get some scratches on it but anyway so we are done got the uh, motor painted got the orange painted on the uh, inside there got the uh, other side uh, one thing I want to mention here is uh, on the inside of the uh, there might be a little bit of a let me see uh, weathering powder because I was I was finishing weather and it drifted and it got in a little groove there which uh, no big deal once you screw that on you ain't gonna see it I tried to get it out but I didn't want to like smear it and everything but we are uh, good to go on uh, getting this off the workbench and this will go uh, to its rightful owner so I'm going to uh, I'm going to get this off the workbench I'm going to get it all uh, wrapped up and then we'll get it off on its way so uh, the Hazards County squad car done and done a unique uh, a unique RC uh, paint job and different but anyway very fun uh, the ball tank uh, I did go ahead and I, I did add a little bit of extra uh, if you can actually see it uh, a little weathering around the uh, uh, headlight there and I'll have it turned on once I get it uh, uh, somewhat you know finished out but anyway I added a little extra here and there I, I add a little more weathering once uh, the figure is uh, drying anyway I got her uh, base coat on her dress or, dre or her uniform I got it uh, I need to go one more time on it it's just uh, I don't know what it is but the paint that I, I guess I over thinned it's my theory but anyway light coats is what I've been doing I just need to build it up just one more time then I'm gonna go in with some uh, washes and I was uh, playing around with uh, the detailer they got a tan wash and if you can actually see it right there uh, going on put it on there and you just take a, a white white a uh, wet cloth and you can wipe off the uh, excess I may uh, I may do that I think what I want to do is uh, I'm going to take the uh, base coat and uh, put a little uh, brown in it and do a pin wash on there and then just uh, keep building a filter wash up it's usually how I do clothing but anyway we'll just see how it goes and see which see how I like it I did take some leather brown and uh, paint the straps or starting to paint the straps and I got to go in and uh, really fine tune that put some washes to get it all uh, straightened but the face is pretty much done I'm pretty satisfied with it I think I'll, uh, I may add just a little more hot. You know, it's one of those you don't want to add too much. You know, you'll, you, don't, you just want to have a nice balance, and then I can start working on her hair. But anyway, that's where I am on uh, Miss Helga. The uh, mono wheel. I went in and uh, pretty much got everything sanded down. And I'm at the point now where I can uh, add a little bit of detail. I need to add the little scribing panel lines, and I need to sand the... Uh, uh, the wheel itself, and I may I may take a uh, may take a couple days off from it because I've been uh, sanding profusely to get it uh, all the contours on there. And uh, once I get it glued down, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll get it glued to the wheel, and then I will uh, let it sit for a couple days so it's good and strong. And uh, that way, because I got to add the back here and uh, just a few little things, and then we will proceed forward. But anyway, mono wheel. It's uh, very very fun, just uh, just a little time consuming because you gotta you know sand everything down. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is uh, I'm not doing the Illuminators, but Atlantis Models is coming out with the Phantom of the Opera, and they're gonna do the old Aurora Long Box uh, version. They just swapped their name for the Aurora logo, but there was a conversion kit that you could do for the Phantom kit. And I can't remember who did it, but you basically get and I printed this off years ago. Uh, you get a basically looks like James Bama's uh, box art. Uh, that's where you could uh, modify it. Well, I don't want to do something. I want to do something like that, but I didn't want to copy. You know, do uh, his style of uh, 
you know that type of conversion kit so what I want to do is I want to and I this is my third try at this because I can't decide really what I want to do I want to take the base and uh, I want to use the base and make a uh, wall for it is what I want to do so we'll take the uh, the base there's a basically a little sail that goes here and I want to add a wall piece and I was debating whether to use a generic uh, base so you know you could put the phantom on but I decided against it I want to do I want to I want to use the base and basically it'll look like something like that this is the way I got it figured out no I'll have to uh, make a new one but anyway that give you a good idea on uh, what the base on the background it'll be a one-piece kit too so buy mine cut it out and uh, you'll be able to uh, you know glue it on the back of the phantom base and uh, you know, have something uh, you know a little extra it'd be kind of I was kind of leaning toward if you ever seen the glow box of Aurora it shows it like in a different view that's kind of what I was uh, leaning toward but anyway that's my game plan on that and, I, and I'm supposed to come out in about uh, about a month so we got some time on that and uh, I can't wait to uh, do something for the phantom because I have never done a conversion kit for the Phantom of the Opera. So that's what I got going on today. We are finishing, or excuse me, we finished up the uh, uh, Hazard County squad car. Helga getting painted. A little more weathering on the ball. Doing a little uh, base conversion for the uh, soon-to-be Atlantis uh, Phantom of the Opera. And the monowheel uh, continues to be sanded. So that's what I got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode.